Hello and welcome to this month's edition of the Costex Coffee Break webinar series. This month we'll be looking at BIM duplicate IDs. My name is Herman and I'm a product specialist with Exactor. If you are new to Costex, then welcome. Um, we are a global leading estimating software solution. We are the best in breed takeoff tool um, with live linking functionality that links those dimensions to your workbooks or your bill of quantities. We also have a powerful revisioning tool um, and subcontractor comparisons as well as BIM quantity extraction functionality. Last month's webinar was done by Matt. Um, it was quite an insightful one and covered the topic of automatic workbook generation. It explored the fastest and the most accurate way to create workbooks um, and when these are linked to rate libraries they can even produce fully costed estimates automatically. To view this or any of our previous webinars, please go to www.exactal.com slash webinars or you can visit our YouTube channel called Exactal. So this month we are looking at duplicate object IDs within a BIM model. Okay. I believe that in a close second place for information that is just accepted without being read after terms and conditions, it must be error or warning message pop-ups. The amount of these that I've skipped over is innumerable and I'm sure it's true for each one of you watching this as well. And even though it's a habit and probably a IT cultural phenomenon, um, it is probably worthwhile to actually see what these messages are saying. So today is aimed at one of those specific instances, um, you know, often unread message box that I've even been guilty of because it is almost just accepted as being one that will pop up every time you do generate a 3D model inside of Costex. So the one that comes up quite often is um, an error box that says that there are some duplicate IDs inside of the model. Okay, unfortunately the way models are created, it's almost inevitable that some of these duplicate IDs will be created. Um, it is created as easily as just copying or linking an object to an existing instance of that object, which I'm sure if I was a designer might be a shortcut that I would sometimes try and get away with. Okay, so the items that we are, will be discussing is these duplicate items that actually don't affect my takeoff, the duplicate items that do affect my takeoff and how to check for them and review them um, as well as how to actually update them. Okay, whilst on the topic of BIM models I would also just like to uh, give you a quick brief on some topics that has been handled in the past with regards to BIM um, and these topics range from BIM templates, exploring the BIM model, model maps, exploring the schedule and also adding properties to these models. So without further ado, let's jump straight into Costex. Costex, I've got this uh, project or building open, which I've already imported a architectural model into called Autodesk University um, with its associate 2D drawings. Okay, I will now go and open this 3D view or the model and I get the warning box that I've mentioned already. Okay, the warning says that this drawing contains duplicate object IDs. Now this for me is sort of the norm. Almost all models that I've ever used brings up this problem. Okay, so I'm not even going to read through this detail. Normally I would just press the OK button and continue with my quantity takeoff by either using one of my templates, um, a Revit template or maybe the Revit group by um, the second node or I would use one of my model maps that I've defined personally okay then I would have to it would work f perfectly fine as normal bring in all of my dimension groups however I would need to review my dimension groups to a degree and I might be liable to missing some of them okay now the other way and probably the better way is to actually read what the whole message says okay so let's read it together it says that object IDs must be unique for each object in the model, but they are not unique on this drawing. So the drawings with duplicate object IDs may have incorrect quantities when the BIM data is imported. It is recommended that the architect is contacted and a new drawing without duplicate IDs is issued. Okay, so this is the first solution. 
you just send it back however we all know what an arduous process can be to go into a chain of back and forth between consultants so we actually have an alternative and we can troubleshoot this drawing from our side and maybe be a bit more helpful in the way we um, approach this um, and get a quicker turnaround okay so on to the next line it says note that all the objects with duplicate object IDs have been given a bin, a BIM property called duplicate ID with the value of true and you can view these in the schedule and or you can use the BIM template BIM import duplicates only to import the duplicates okay so now that we've read it and understood what it says we can then press OK and proceed to investigate this model okay so the first one is to quickly have a look at the schedule so in my dimensions tab I can open the schedule from here okay all the columns are alphabetical so go to duplicate IDs okay so you'll see here's a duplicate ID column that's been created and now when I scroll through all the objects there's a few instances of true here at the bottom okay so I can then do isolate them over here um, and have a look at that specific instance and explore that a bit further okay which is not the way that I'm going to go about it I'll use a second option of actually importing the duplicates okay so I use my normal measurement um, flow chart or flow of things I so go to import and I say use a BIM template and the first template and all of these templates are embedded in the software it's called BIM import duplicates only so I select that and I click process and Costex will then run through the model and import all of these items that are duplicates okay there it goes just running through those items okay another warning box this one even has the option to never see it again in your life okay however for any BIM import Costex will well normally generate this we're just telling you what is the default unit of measurement that has been used for the different dimensions okay so we can click OK and you'll see that in the same way that it normally creates your dimension groups it has now created a folder called duplicates okay with these four items that it has picked up the duplicate IDs in okay so the first item is the basic roof concrete deck and the way that we will troubleshoot this is actually right click it and select to isolate this dimension group okay so right click it and select isolate dimension group okay we can zoom out a little we can again see the schedule and we'll see that for this one item there's actually only well for this duplicate item which is then suggest that there's two items there's actually only one item being displayed okay well as far as we can see okay so we can right click this and say hide objects in our current selection okay and it seems that it hasn't disappeared however if we go to our drawing and put our wireframe off we'll see that it's actually the wireframe and the object that has been given the same object properties which then picks up as a duplicate object so in this instance and this is the same for the slab edge it is actually correct in terms of the measurement okay it's just showing it as a duplicate because of that reason okay so these could just be accepted but again it could be pushed back onto the designer to ask to actually remove that duplicate and rather define them these objects separately okay moving on to one of the other items so the chair for instance we use the same methodology and try and isolate these chairs okay and now when we zoom out we can see that Costex has only picked up four chairs which is obviously not correct just based on our logic we can see that there are way more than just well based on what we see not logic <laughs> but we can see that there's way more than just four instances of this chair okay so when navigating through these items in the model we can see that for each one that we select 
which is just a single instance there's actually multiple chairs selected okay um, so you'll see that each different orientation of the chair has actually only been given once okay so the cause for this is that each of these chairs um, is actually derived from a link to another model or of a single instance of the, ta uh, the chair or the table below it is the same um, problem okay so this would obviously need to be rectified because you can imagine this is quite a simple example if it's on a larger scale um, another instance with this is or this tends to happen is if you are for instance building an apartment building or a hotel and you have different room configurations the architect or designer will very often um, link those different um, layouts to each other so then all of your instances of a one bedroom type A or all of your instances of a two bedroom would actually be duplicated. In this example of a hotel those um, discrepancy would potentially be far more significant um, than just a few tables or chairs um, so it's always clearly a good idea to follow the warning advice and first of all ascertain the nature of any of these duplicate objects. Thank you so much for joining us again um, this month. I hope that my short little duplicate ID exercise has been quite helpful. Um, and in conclusion, let's um, try and not just blindly ignore those warning pop-ups. Okay, then even if there are some errors, it is quite easy to troubleshoot, isolate and incorporate these objects referred to in this group. And BIM is only as effective, and this is a small takeaway that I want you all to take, um, because I really do believe that as QSs, um, BIM is unquestionably where our, um, our career or our industry is moving towards. Okay, However, it will only ever be as effective as the collaboration between the different consultants. Okay, So broadening our frame of reference to understand the implications of our role, as well as our fellow consultants doing the same okay that's obviously where we want to move towards if you need any further information on any of these items please do reach out to us you can contact me um, at support at exactall or you can call our support line and as i've already mentioned you can go to any of our channels on youtube or our actual website um, to view any of these or if you just want some more information um, I also want to point you the direction of our introductory manual okay section 10 and our advanced manual uh, sections 4 through 7 for um, further elaboration on, on BIM and our caustic sandals BIM okay thank you so much see you next time cheers <laughs>